So in the last video, the pull request that Stevie generated was able to be automatically merged in with a single button click, right? Uh, we didn't have to do any merging locally on our machine. It was all done in GitHub, and then we just pulled down the changes. But that only happens sometimes where the merge can be done automatically. Just like any merge in Git, there's always a potential for conflicts. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can resolve conflicts when merging a pull request. Okay, so we need to first start by making a pull request that will generate a conflict. And to do that, and, and to do things relatively speedily, hopefully, um, I'm going to start by uh, doing a tiny change as Stevie. So here we are as Stevie. Um, I'm going to just, I don't know, let's change the title here of the entire web page. So we'll imagine, you know, we're doing some big task. We're working on a feature branch, but really we're just gonna change the heading. So let's make uh, a feature branch as Stevie. We'll call this, uh, let me make this a bit larger. How about git, let's see, we're on main. Let's do git switch dash C, because we're not gonna work on main. And then we'll call this uh, new heading. Okay, so switch to a new branch, new heading. Uh, and now we can do some really basic work like change the heading here. Uh, where is that? Instead of an H1, I'm gonna give it a class of display one, which is just part of bootstrap. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. And then I'm gonna change the text to be, um, I don't know, hey yo world. Oh, how about, actually this is coming from Stevie. How about just bok, 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 bok. Is that how you spell that? I don't know. Whatever noise my chickens make, it's like a burk, 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 most of the time. All right, so that's Stevie's change. So Stevie adds and commits this to the branch. So git add index, git commit dash m, uh, change heading to bok bok. <laughs> All right, so now we can push that up or Stevie can push this branch, git push origin new heading up to GitHub. Then simultaneously, uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole workflow of making a PR as Colt. I'm just going to do some changes on the index uh, directly on the main branch, which normally, you know, we should be consistent. And <laughs> if we're going to enforce pull requests, I guess I'm the, the uh, owner of this repo so I can do whatever I want. But normally you follow some rules, right? You're not gonna have two sets of rules. You're going to ask everyone to use PRs to merge changes in. But just to demo this faster and not lose your attention, uh, I will directly edit the file on GitHub as Colt, right? So I can just edit a file and make a commit on the main branch. So I'm going to edit this instead of saying, uh, hello world, where's that heading? Right, wait, here it is. Instead of hello world, I'll do hello there everyone, and maybe a bunch of exclamation points, okay? Then I'm going to save that. Well, not really save it, but I'm going to make a new commit. So update index, sure, that's fine. Commit directly to the main branch. Here we go. So now the main branch has changed and Stevie has a branch that was pushed up. This is still kind of a trivial, a silly way of, of creating a conflict, but there should be a conflict now where if I try and make a pull request as Stevie, I'll take a look, here's my new heading branch. Let's make a pull request. Uh-oh, can't automatically merge. Don't worry though, you can still create the pull request. So hopefully you see why we can't automatically merge. There's a conflict. Just like if we tried to merge these on our machine with git merge, it's the exact same mechanic. So if I wanna make a pull request to change the heading to bok bok, I am a chicken and I changed the heading to say bok bok. I hope you like it. Okay, so I have a message. I'll create that pull request from new heading to main. And we see that there are conflicts that can be resolved. So the way that our uh, repo is set up, anybody who's a collaborator currently can resolve the conflicts, right, and merge a PR uh, once that's resolved. I'm going to do it as Colt though, not as Stevie. That's a more typical workflow is somebody submits the PR and then it needs to be reviewed. So I'm gonna go back to Colt's workspace and then we see there's a new PR. Here it is. And if I want to merge this in, unfortunately, it's not as simple as clicking a button. So I can do a couple of things. Uh, if I click the resolve conflicts button, 
it actually gives me an option to do this in the browser, which I haven't really done before. Uh, and this actually for this example is super easy to do it that way because it's just a single line that we're keeping or combining. But rather than doing it in the browser, I'm gonna show you the good old fashioned way of doing it uh, that you would do if you had a bunch of files. Uh, this is just one conflict in a single file, but in the real world, you may run into conflicts across a bunch of files. Hopefully not too many, but still, it might be easier to resolve them on your own machine. So we can click this, view command line instructions, and it tells us exactly how to do this on the command line. So first, we need to bring the changes in so we can fetch origin. So we'll do that on my machine as Colt, git fetch origin. All right, so now we have this new branch reference, this remote tracking branch. Let me make this larger again. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Try that one more time. Here we are. Uh, you can see origin slash new heading. So the instructions now tell me to check out new heading. They're using the, the checkout command uh, on the Git or the GitHub website. They don't use git switch yet, which is the newer way of doing it. So we could do this. We're saying, make me a new branch called new heading and have it track origin slash new heading. Or the easier option is just git switch new dash heading. And it will do that for us as we've seen. So now that I've done that, uh, I can see here, I should have bok bok showing up in the heading and I do, I have Stevie's changes. I am currently checking out, I'm switching or I have switched to that new heading branch that Stevie pushed up. So now I need to merge in the main branch. So this approach is switch to the new branch, the feature branch and merge main in to the feature branch, resolve the conflicts there. So just test things out and make sure it works. And then when we're ready, we're gonna switch over to main and merge new heading in. All right. So let's try that, git merge main. This is the main branch. We know that there's likely going to be a conflict, although I think I'm missing the, the latest changes from main. Yeah, it's up to date because I didn't pull down. So let's switch to main. I'll show you what I mean, git switch main. Remember that uh, I updated on main uh, on GitHub. I changed the heading and it actually tells me that your main branch is behind origin slash main. So we'll do a git pull origin main now we have the latest changes on main. Now I can go back to new heading and then I can merge main. So git merge the new main branch that we have, well, it's not new, but the latest version, uh, the latest work, merge that into this new heading branch. Now we have the conflict. So now I can resolve the conflict here. So um, maybe I want both. Maybe I want h1 class equals display one from Stevie. And then I want, uh, I don't know, all these exclamation points. How about bok bok everyone? Like that. So let's see what that looks like. <laughs> let's refresh. Okay, great. So now we need to add and commit the changes. So git add index, and we'll just do a useless commit message like uh, resolve conflicts. Okay. So now we've merged the changes in, but we're just on the new heading branch. So we've made it, we know for sure that the current version of master or main works when we merged it in with the changes on new heading, we resolved the conflicts. Now we can switch back to main and then we can merge in that new heading branch that we already resolved the conflicts on, which is exactly what they ask us to do or tell us to do on GitHub. So go back to main and then merge in new heading which already has the conflicts resolved. So we shouldn't get new conflicts. Now this dash dash no FF, that's uh, an indicator we're telling Git merge to not fast forward if it detects that it can, uh, because when we do a fast forward, instead of making a merge commit, as we've seen, Git will just move the branch pointer to uh, some new commit, right? It just moves forward. And sometimes we wanna prevent that from happening, uh, especially when we want to preserve or maintain uh, our specific branch we wanna make it clear that there was a branch merged in here just to have that history. You don't have to do this part, but it's just uh, what GitHub recommends. So we could just copy the entire line. We're merging new heading into main. Okay, so see, I'm now gonna put a commit here instead of just a fast forward. Uh, I'm putting a, a merge commit in because I said no fast forward. All right, and now we just push up to master. Git push origin main. I said master again, we're using main. Git push origin main. 
All right. So now if I refresh this page, it automatically just I didn't I didn't refresh, but it automatically detects successfully merge this PR and it's closed now and you can delete that new heading branch if you want. Sure. Let's delete it. We can also restore it if needed. And now we merged a PR in that had a conflict. Uh, and the same process would apply if there was one conflict or tons and tons of conflicts. We make a pull request and then resolve the conflicts following the instructions. Basically pull that code down or fetch it, check it out or switch to the new feature branch, merge master or main in, resolve conflicts, add and commit, then switch back to master or main, merge in the now conflictless branch and then push that up. Okay, so now the last thing to do is, as Stevie, go and get the latest version, right, of the main branch. We don't have that as Stevie. So we just need to pull down, we'll switch to main. We can remove that branch now. New heading, so get branch dash D, new heading. And now get pull origin main. We'll get the latest changes from main. And there's not a whole lot that we got, but if we type git log, we see Okay, we got the resolving of the conflict, merged that branch in, my work was merged in. So now our latest version of the main branch says bok bok everyone. <laughs> and we can take a look at it uh, right here. And there we are. So we successfully merged a PR in that had a conflict. Okay.